and we're back to Kerbal Space Program. Guys, I'm gonna level with you. I've done some work off camera because the truth is the dockings were pretty tricky and I wasn't really having fun with them. One thing I did that improved things was... Let me see if I can show you here in a close-up. So one of the issues I think I had was that I was using omnidirection or kind of like four directional RCS ports and what that caused is that the just the SAS was wasting RCS power and I wasn't getting the thrust in the in the exact direction I was hoping for so what I'm doing is I'm using individual RCS ports and that allowed me a little bit more control but I'm gonna level with you it was still not fun it was not it was not like a smooth sailing was still a bit frustrating and when you're dealing with objects of this weight I guess it's acceptable so you know I think uh, we're not gonna do that too much anymore because again I'm just not having too much fun with it but I did manage to finish our building here so you can see the Kraken is now complete I'd say it looks pretty badass so the other thing I have to level with you is that this will probably be the final frontier of our space program, the final voyage here with the Kraken. Because I've been having a lot of problems with uh, a couple of the mods that I have. Um, the game updated itself and kind of broke my saves. I had to go in and manually uh, restore my saves just to, in order to even be able to do this video here. So going forwards, I don't think I'm going to continue the series because the issues I've been having are just not worth uh, any of our times. So I think we'll just close this up with an epic voyage here with the Kraken and that's going to be a great way to close it up. I do appreciate anybody that's sticking through the entire series here and hopefully you'll enjoy some of the other uh, Let's Plays that I'm putting out. But with that out of the way we're going to plan our voyage. One thing to note is that I severely underestimated the amount of weight this thing would have. So because we have such, and you can see I don't have the, some of the indicators anymore because again the mods are just broken and I had to restore the, the version of the, anyway, it's just a mess. <laughs> but we're gonna power through it. The, the point is we're not gonna have nearly as much thrust as I would have liked so we're gonna have to operate with very kind of limited uh, engine efficiency here but hopefully and I haven't tested any of this but hopefully we'll be able to make it to somewhere cool and my idea is to actually go to Eve so last time we went to Duna and this time we're gonna go the opposite direction we're gonna go to Eve which is something similar to Venus and I'm really it's like a purple planet I'm really looking forward to exploring it but yeah so for now though what we're gonna do is remember you gotta control from here control from here very important your point prograde and we're just going to burn until we leave the Kerbin system. It's really frustrating to not have any indicators. <laughs> I really hate it, honestly. It's, it actually annoys me that I have to switch views. So, we're going to burn here for a long time, I think. Gonna have to burn for a long time. I mean, one thing we could do, to be fair, if you cut throttle here and you just, we can't create a maneuver. Again, pretty annoying because we don't have, oh, actually we still have this mod. Okay, so not all is lost. There you go, okay. Show me what it looks like. We need, oh, okay. Hold, hold on, relax, calm your tits here. So go like, yes, just spot onto Eve's 
so get yourself in the maneuver here we're gonna hit the node very so we gotta start burning it's already gonna be like a late burn we're gonna hope that this works so I'm gonna time-lapse this for you because it's a long burn and I can't actually speed it up in the game so I'll see you on the other side It looks like we're in business. Closing in. All right. So Hopefully this is something we can use for an encounter. So I think we're going to be okay. The the thing is, we do need to correct our ascending node first. So let's do an anti-normal burn here. We're close enough to the ascending node that I think it will be fine to burn here. We've got not too much fuel left, but we do have to make this burn sink. I think it's very low chance we're gonna get an encounter with a two degree inclination so just keep this there I'm gonna fire up you gotta bring it down to at least wow that's slow yeah it's really slow <laughs> you gotta bring it down to at least um... you know what I think we gotta even do it at the very node because we have so little fuel that we can take the days, we can take the weight, but if we run out of fuel before we get there, it's gonna be heartbreaking. So, again, this is our one shot, one opportunity. I'm not gonna continue, I'm not gonna go into the Eminem song, but yeah, you know, you know the drill. So, the idea we correct inclination here, and then when we get to the ape apps, we're luckily maybe gonna have an encounter we'll see now we gotta go normal since we're in the descending nodes okay fire it up Okay, it is actually being quite more efficient than where we were before, so. Alright, well, I think we need something around 0 0.5, actually. Again, very aware of how little fuel I have, but... I think this is gonna just give us the best chance of making it work. So you keep burning, keep believing, man. We're gonna make this work. You 
you take the 0 0.6 that's fine so then the other thing so for now turn off RCS gonna make it to around the Apple apps there because that's when it's gonna be efficient again we want to use the peri apps range of our orbit to encounter um, Eve we don't want to have to burn like 800 Delta V because we we simply don't have that Delta V to work with yeah I severely underestimated how or I guess overestimated the ability of our engines to push all of this weight we have around like 300 tons to move so yeah we're pretty heavy here let's see uh see if we can get anything going with this okay what about if we move the node up is that gonna help at all it doesn't look like we can get an encounter right now Okay, well, I think our best shot is to take a trip around the sun. Whew. So, okay, so we're back into patient's territory where we got to wait real patiently until we were able to get an encounter here. Again, burning at this point in our orbit would be super undesirable because the amount we would have to burn to get an encounter there would be just crazy. But hopefully, hopefully we're going to get into a better position in the next run. Let's see. I mean, we, we can start considering our options here. So, what about a maneuver here? Just uh, give it a little bit of retrograde there, and then we move this up. Nope, never gonna work in a million years. So, yeah this point Jeff and the guys have been in orbit for two years I hope they're keeping themselves busy they brought enough board games to play because it's gonna be a long one it's the thing we don't when you don't have a lot of fuel and you don't plan when your insertion happens in terms of where Eve is gonna be relative to your ship and stuff since we didn't do any of that we're kind of having to brute force it which is always tough so I'll tell you what I'm just going to time-lapse this for you until I get a successful encounter with Eve it might be a while here
boys and girls, we have an encounter with Eve. And a little bit of fuel still to work with. I believe we can make this work. Now, drop a quick save here, because it's been literally four years. <laughs> so, alright, three years and, and some change. But uh, we want to make sure we can do, like, small corrections now that will translate into huge improvements into our Perry apps. So, let's create a maneuver node here. And we can say, hey, what if... And again, go with very small amounts. If I do that, what is the effect? So we're increasing our periaps. That's not what we want. Okay, so that's the sweet spot. We got a little bit of retrograde, uh, sorry, prograde. And then what about a little bit of radial here? Anti radial then? Well, that's not working. Looks like it's not helping. So, okay. Uh, that's fine, that's fine. We can still do like a tiny prograde burn here. That will help. Alright, monopropellant is still okay. keep an eye on that periaps. We know that if we burn a little bit we can actually bring it down to around, was it like 38 or like 40,000? So we're gonna patiently do that just now. Alright. Okay. That's about all we could do, <clears throat> it looks like. So, the next thing we can try is the normal axis. So, we get ourselves, like, to this point in the orbit, which I believe is going to be kind of around the, the most efficient area for us to perform a normal burn. <clears throat> and we'll see if we're able to close in a little bit more because this is quite far away take me even a little bit further please okay we can start planning see if it, it will help at all so you open that up and you do a little bit of a burn here Okay, so show me the two periapses. Okay, so it looks like we made it worse. Oh, now we're talking. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, look at that. With a minimal burn here, we're getting a lot of mileage. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. Holy shit. Okay, well, hold on. That's too much. Show me the values. 242, dude. That's a win. Okay, so you just need to wait for 14 days to perform an 8 second burn. <laughs> Take us closer. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Ever so slowly. With just about enough fuel. But we're gonna make it. Alright. Closing in. Looks like we overshot the node. Okay, we're keeping an eye on the 
three apps number there. Hold on. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. I mean, that's brutal. That's incredible. Super good. Um, so you drop a quick save here, and you delete this. take me to Eve orbit and look at that the purple dot well Let's see what we have, shall we? We have a very aggressive kind of... Oh, I just want to focus on Eve if I could. There you go, thank you. Now, we want to plan our maneuver here. And, well, hopefully we... Yeah, we still have fuel. Still have some fuel, not much. But we can do this. So our maneuver there is going to be just a retrograde burn. Okay, so we don't need, we want to use as little fuel as possible here. Okay. Estimated burn around 50 seconds. Take us closer. All right. Look at that. Doesn't it look cool? Oh, looks like we've we've made it after all. It was a pretty tough journey. With patience and a little bit of smart usage of our fuel, we're able to do it. So we can probably start burning now, it's safe. I mean, I think you just want to stick to retrograde here. Not sure what, what you're doing. Alright, bring that in, bring that in. Come on. Come on, yes, yes, we've made it. Ooh, dude, we're in orbit around Eve. Quick save. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Wow. Dude, we're gonna land on that thing. I'll tell you that. Yeah, we're definitely gonna land on that thing. But that's gonna be next time. So hopefully you'll join me for the end of our voyage here, the final frontier of our space program. As ever, thanks for watching, thanks for sticking with me, and I'll catch you next time.